All right, Tuesday, October 10th, 2023. We got Paul and Dave. We're here at the jug dump, and it's probably one o'clock or later in the afternoon. So again, we're getting kind of a late start, but we're gonna try to dig, aren't we, Paul? Yeah, we're gonna try to rip out a new but area. We got our little friend here that's gonna help us, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's been running good, isn't it? Yeah. We just really appreciate it. We thank all of you for watching, and we're uh, we're gonna get down in here. We'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to back the backhoe up a little bit. Uh, can't come too far here. You can see the bank is eroding so we got to be careful but um, Shelly and I just finished up right in here but anyway we couldn't get down in there very deep but if I can back it up we're going to try to get just a little bit closer to that tree there and we're in actual hopes that we can dig out this corner and uh, get down in there going that way towards underneath the tree I feel like there's a good pocket of stuff there that's where the gold vein goes <laughs> so We'll see, but we'll we'll try to get down in there and hope you can hang with us for our little adventure here. So let's get down there and see what we can dig. All right, we're just getting done digging. We're Paul's in mountain goat mode here. Mm -hmm. Kind of sketchy little path we got, but perfectly safe. Look though. at that, wonderfully no safe. No problem for a mountain goat. Well, there's a hole we've been digging that for. Looks good. About 10 or 15 minutes, I guess, it's taking me a little while to get going with the with the backhoe, but we could pull it back. I'm just a little nervous about backing it up too close to that edge there, because this is this bank gives away. We're in big trouble, so we're just going to get what we can oh, here. Yeah, that looks good right there. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll get down to the bottom. I felt the bottom down in here with the backhoe. It felt like. Oh, that's not a beard. Oh, amber coke. <laughs> It's amber to red raven. Red raven, okay. Yeah. Boy, that was popular stuff. That is all right. That looks like a good It does. Layer. Yeah. But we need to see what's down here below. Yep, get down in there. Over here there's a bottle. Oh, cool. That's undug here. Yeah, that's not done. Catch up one. Okay. All right, well, here we go. We're just getting started. There's another one sticking out yeah. up in there. Looks like maybe, here, I'll cut them roots here in a minute. I think I'll, I'll set the camera up over here and they will come in there too. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, now look what you did. Look what I did. I had to, <laughs> I had to pull it. A milk glass. Hey, that's a uh, Ingram's milkweed cream. There you go. Went bottling hey, all right. Went and bottling works. Yeah. Good. I think there's no cracks. Good. All right. So it might be hazy. Yeah. Just falling in on me. Oh man. Me. Trying to pull roots. Sweet. I can't beat that. I know it. I'm trying to get the camera set up here a little bit. Get the big shovel. Yeah. If we have to. We can throw some dirt over there. Right. Exactly. That backhoe kind of pops a little bit, the hydraulics is it cooling down. Alright. Get out a little dirt. I'm gonna cut a couple roots up there. While he's doing that. Got the camera set up on the tripod. Okay, I'm gonna knock in little dirt here. Alright. Uh-oh. Or a lot of dirt. Or a lot of dirt, <laughs> whichever the case may be. That's okay. If it's just hanging there, it might as well fall in. We'll shovel it out with hand. Get these roots out. Yeah. We might just be able to move it too, because you got a deep enough hole here. Yeah. And we can, you know, dig the rest of that too with a back end. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, it is. There's a bottle right there. All right. Yeah, we'll get down on that bottom there. Okay. Come around here. That's a drug is uh, old unembossed. Oh, unembossed. Boy, so once in a while one of them's embossed. Yeah. Sorry, I'm right in that camera angle here. Putting bottling works. Paul just pulled out, and there's a milk glass Ingram's milkweed cream bossed here around the shoulder. 
haven't seen one of them milkweed creams for a while. No, I haven't either. This is kind of nice. Okay. I have to take the coat off, pack it off. Yep. I'll be getting warm, huh? That's about where Shelly and I left off down in there. I should dug some more out. I just don't want to break stuff. You know, I'm afraid with that back home, I'm going to yeah. crush right through a nice porcelain sign or a jug. It's got to be close to bottom there. I felt it with the teeth. It kind of shudders a little bit when you hit it with them teeth. But then probably some dirt fell back in. Right there is bottom. That's it, isn't it? Yep. He's on bottom right there. Yep, you're right on it. I felt it. Now I just, I, the way I curled it, I guess I knocked dirt back in. But that's all right. We'll dig it. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll come in there and shovel out some of the dirt while you're doing that. Get us a little more room here. It's square. Is it? Clear. I think it's both. Even when you're using a backhoe, there's still a lot of shoveling in there, Paul. Still yeah. a lot of work to do. If you do it, you know, where you don't want to break stuff, you still got to be kind of careful. We could do it the lazy man's way and just dig it all with the hole, but I think I like it like this. That way, we're leaving that trash layer. I thought it was a hair piece, but I oh. guess it's a collar to a lamp or something. Yeah, it is. It's Real one of them. It's nice. Look at that. Yeah, it's got the little set screws there. It's for a, one of them hanging lamp, hanging kerosene lamp. That's kind of nice, though, decorative type thing. Keep that. It's nice. We got a big hole here, even though it's dusty. We got pretty good ventilation, you know, a lot of air. It's probably 15 feet across. There's a tire we threw down one of our old holes. These are Paul and I had dug a few months ago. Another one of them? It sure is. Ingram's milkweed cream. Well, <laughs> well we get a pair of them. We got a pair of them. Yeah. Comes in a couple of sizes. Popular stuff. You know, milkweed's good for a lot of things. Get that medical salve out of it. Get a slick. Yeah, old hand blown slick. Yeah. Never know. Shelly's working today. I think it's her last day and I think she's getting laid off. So we'll probably be back to digging. A little stuff. amber. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nice amber uh, hand blown medicine bottle there. Back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> There was a big paneled medicine. I can't see if it was embossed. Big sunken panels, hand blown. A nice looking bottle. And that's our strategy to get right down on the bottom, work it that way. It looks like it's kind of sloping down. It is. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so can't reach any farther with the with the backhoe. I got the extended arm out as far as it'll go, and uh, it reaches right about to here. You can see where the edge of the bucket's scraping. So if we have to. We'll back up about three feet. I think we're safe doing that. Over a hundred years old. Yeah, even though it's machine made, it's still 1915, yep. ain't it? It sure is. Yep, Maybe. my little after 15 I don't know yeah but it'll turn amethyst it sure that's will. how you can tell because right around 1918 1919 they were converting over to selenium different stuff as a decolorizer to turn glass clear and this all this clear glass coming out here like 99 percent of it will turn amethyst even though a lot of these are machine made bottles 
They were made in that 1912 to 1917 era. You know, your grandpa, my dad, was born in 1918. Yeah. About yeah. when this dump was being finished. That's amazing. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. World War One going on. Prohibition began. There's a, a drop-off right here. <clears throat> is there? It's going deep. It's, oh, wow, it is. It could just be a little gully that was natural. Yeah. Huh. Stuff in it like a well, pots and rust. Yeah. Well, we'll follow the trash vein wherever it goes. It's looking good, though, up in here. Sure is. Looks like a lot of trash up in here. There's bottles sticking out in there. It's hard to hard to not go ahead and yeah you can see the layering effect in here too it's all right I haven't really been finding too many bottles I'm just kind of getting down in there good it was a Whitmer Boston here shoe polish bottle shoe black I was hitting another one of them big granite wear pans big Larkin company oh is it Larkin yeah Oh, That's good. actually pretty big. That's for this a nice dump. one. It is. Look at that. Big size Larkin Company Buffalo. Tony and I dug two small ones last time. Yep. Little, little bottle. Another one, just a smaller size. Larkin. Yay. Another Larkin. Yeah. Little hand blown Larkin Company Buffalo. And yeah, that was. Dust that wind is, yeah, it sure is. Stirring up the dust. Hitting one. Big spiral neck, wide mouth, rock and rye type liquor bottles there, there broken. Here comes one. The wine. <laughs> yep. Oh, green wine bottle. Cooled lip wine. Yeah light green they're pretty and they're it's, never broke they're always yeah the hole. pretty bottle though, isn't it <laughs> yeah a deep kick up there Not a lot of wine bottles again if you're digging in a dump that's pre-prohibition you're going to find a lot of liquor bottles here in illinois and once you hit 1920 you see a lot less yeah. Truck. Wow, I yeah, think it that's is close to the bottom of a little yeah. natural dip. Yeah, it's like you can tell almost like they were deliberately smashing stuff up there. That's a lot of broken, small, smashed up bottles. Way of bottoms, a lot of privies looked at. Yeah, oh, hey, there you go. Part to cold or something. Yeah, <laughs> you can find the lid to it. Sometimes the lids are embossed. Cold cream jar. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> yep. Nice old one. Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compound. Wonder how many of them we've dug out here. I don't know. Quite a few, I'll say. Hey, all right. We hit two Bromo caffeines up yeah, there in the back dirt, didn't that's we? three for the day. Yeah, and we got, I think we got eight that one time. That was our record. Yeah. All right. Those are nice. That's going to clean up good, too. Bromo caffeine. There's a bottle. Oh, no, it's not. Hey. Mexican mole. So oh, company. good. It's actually Victoria. got something written on it. Yeah, it looks good too. Yay. All right. It's a nice keeper. Yeah, Mexican mole soap company, Peoria, Illinois. Little hand blown bottle. We'll take it, man. There's a broken Bromo, or just a blue one. Oh, on yeah. <laughs> good looking area. It is. I like it. Thick trash in there. Oh, look at that. That would have been pretty. Cup or bowl? What was that? Sugar bowl, I bet. Yeah. It would have had been a little ledge, didn't it? That was pretty Oh, low. what a shame. Yeah, it had some nice 
raised uh, <laughs> design on it. Jawbone oh was boy, teeth teeth. I thought it was mine, but yeah. <laughs> Paul, Paul, I better check mine, man. That could have been my molars there. Lost well, my last two molars there. Just come right on out. Oh, <laughs> Lost my teeth. I need a big shovel. You know, yeah, that big shovel right behind you, maybe. Like treasure trove over there. It looks good, doesn't it? Looks like there's a lot of trash around it. Look right up in here. You can see bottles sticking out up in that. Well, you might not be able to see them, but they're there. Oh, man, it's looking good. Oh, there's yeah. a handle. No, it's gone. Oh, <laughs> so look for that. <laughs> Look at those bottles trickling yeah. in there. Looks good. I like it. That's Drake's German. Oh, is it? Remedy. Yeah, it's a hand blown one. Hey. Actually, looks like one of the 80s ones. Wow. Doesn't it like a little it older? It does, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Drake's German Croup Remedy. Yeah, that's older style ones that have it on the front panel and Boss Glessner. Well, this is full. Oh, yeah, see what's in there. Da, 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 da. Oh. oh, come on, give us no. something. No. Okay. We're, we're thoroughly hosed. No coins. Nothing. Look at Nothing. that. Oh well. All maybe right. maybe it all fell out when it, they it was rolled all in. It down in here. Oh, I tell you, it looks real good up in that bank there. It's a thicker layer here, ain't it? Yes, I like it. Got us into a honey hole. Yeah. Shelly and I were heading for it. We just ran out of time. Yeah. <coughs> Poor Shelly. We'll get her into something good in here. In that bank when we get ready. Oh, it can't be that far from the bottom here. No. These roots create more of a problem than you realize. But that big one there was a big problem. We cut it with a chainsaw last time. Oh, there's another cut out problem. Hey, is it? Almost whacked it with the shovel, but I didn't. All right, I another saved it. one. Is that number four for the day? Yeah. Cool. We got two up there and two down here. I like those. You spotted one from the back hill while you were Yeah. <laughs> That's good eyes. For Dumping a bucket out, and I just happened to see it. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fun. We decided to leave the camera run here so you can kind of experience it with us as we That's a big dig them. Chest burl. You were just talking it about it. It is, that. yep. It's a pretty big size one. It is a big one. That stuff is the nastiest stuff when you try to clean it out. It hardens up and you just cannot get it out of there. Any of you guys that dug bottles, you know what we're talking about when it Vaseline. It's petroleum jelly. But Man, stuff gets hard and yeah, you can dig some of that upper layer if you want. I know, I'm we'll just, just used to doing what we I do. know, we're so what we do right. Yeah. We approach it from digging the bottom first down here and then come up here into this stuff. Which is really the right way to dig it. But it's so tempting. Look at all these bottles up in there. Can you see any of them? There's about six or seven sticking out and there's one up there above Paul's head. Oh, it just looks good. Paul's doing it the right way. And I think we are going to have to move that backhoe back just a little bit. Problem is that I can't hardly swing the arm around and dump it now. We've got two big piles there. Another slit. Yep. Hand blown clear. A lot, of, a lot of bottles. That's an interesting shape. One. Yeah. Oh, nothing on it. Oh, that's got to be a clone or a hair bottle. Something. Yeah, there's one. I've, I've actually dug a couple of the big size ones. These that say William Warner. Hey, is that an ink? Sure is. Paul got a little tiny it's a ink. A little bit. It's got iridescence. I think. Yep. On it. A little bit. That's older, man. That's that like is. 1870s or 80s. That was. Uh, one of those uh, indelible inks comes in a little Payson's, Payson's indelible ink. I've, I've seen those in the tins. I've had quite a few of them over the years. All right.
right, interesting stuff. That um, clean card or something. That clear bottle there, it's, it's uh, small at the bottom, goes out at the shoulder. I was going to say there's bigger ones that say William R. Warner and Company from St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And it was a Warner's Tunnel Sumble Cordial. It's patent medicine. Is that a cap? Yeah. Eh. That's actually might be able to be preserved. Look at that. A little brass cap there. Shaker. It's like a salt shaker or talcum, talcum tin or something. Is that a gut feeling that underneath this tree here there's, there's going to be something good because down below it we hit like some really good stuff and porcelain signs in there you see it's it? got gold paint on it oh wow what is that hey that's it's paneled oh it, it had, is it had something in paint on it but i gold can't read paint. it well it's, oh, it's like a cologne bottle it's real thick glass it is it's cut yeah, it's a cut glass cologne. That's that's cool. I've not Isn't seen that. Isn't that neat? It, yeah, it had gold gilt paint that was on the outside of it. Look at that flat bottom, polished bottom. Those are cut panels. Would have probably taken a glass stopper, but it's good though, Paul. Yeah. A nice shape. Yeah, that could be older too. That looks like more like 1880s or 90s. You can see it's gold decoration on the shoulders there. You can see it here in the sun glare or not. It had gold gilt designs around it. Pretty, Pretty stuff. stuff, man. Look at all that. Yeah. Like a blue opalescent. Got a footed, footed bowl. That was the rim there. Pretty. Pretty. Boy, oh, I just never know what you're going to see in here. Here comes a bottle. You can grab that copper wire down there too, right on the, it's in your shovel. Let's get that. I like copper wire. Let me save that. If it's pliable, sometimes you bend it and just all brittle and breaks. Boy, lots of slicks. Either follow <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, I just love this. I don't know how Paul can stand that. Them bottles sticking out up there. I don't know if I got enough self control not to pull those out. <laughs> something big panel, probably. A Is there? Hood, spark thriller, or something. Oh, yeah. I can't get to it. Down in there somewhere. It's a doodle bug pit. Yeah. It's a little slick. Wow, look at all the trash in there. It's getting heavier, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like, there's a spoon. Yeah, it's getting heavy trash. A spoon there it in. is. And it's oh, a nothing. A oh, man. It's clear and Oh. What a shame. Really nice hair piece. Hey, yeah. Well, it's got some teeth broke off. Yeah, of it. some broke off. Tortoise shell or celluloid woman's hair piece there. Early 1900. Yeah. Picture a lady that had that in her hair. Back in those days, there wasn't no men wore that stuff. Boy, yeah, that'd have been a nice bottle. I mean, it's still a nice bottle. That's a little hand blown. Definitely turn amethyst and be pretty. Want me to come in for a while? Yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. All right, come on, man. I'm ready to dig. You got me enthused here. I don't know if I got your discipline though. I might have to yank them bottles out. <laughs> man, there's like bitters panels laying around here. That spoon. Yeah, here's some of the stuff we just dug right in here. Just been tossing it up there. Find that bitters. Here it is. Yeah, it was a kidney and liver bitters. 
And it's most likely a Rex kidney liver because see how it's rounded on the corner? I believe lashes have beveled corners. Well, yeah. It's just like a lashes. Of course, there's a Mark's kidney liver bitters and Sun kidney liver bitters. They all look like that. Oh, boy. Oh, man, just about fell down there. Now watch what I'm doing. Yep, Paul's been digging down here in the bottom. You can see their bottle sticking out here. We'll pull out a few of those that are here, out. there, there. Oh no! I'm waiting for you now. I'm trying to. There, there's one. Into, <laughs> yeah. Into getting them. <laughs> Dig these bottles out. Here. Well, if you got one hand free, you could just grab a couple of them. There's one up there. There's another one. Of course, oh, you, risk, man. you risk the whole bank coming yeah. in. Yeah. Like Good boy, look at all. <laughs> there's one there. There's one. There's the bottom of the one sticking out. There's a jar there. Oh boy. See how bad this looked over here where Shelly and I were digging. Yeah, but it looks like it's, there's but it's a good, better patch coming up. It's you know? changing though. See, there's more trash. It's coming down the hill, right down through here. You see that gold vein? It's getting heavier. It right is. So we're going to have to take this out over in here, make sure we get all of that. All this in here we're at, we dug that out. But I moved the backhoe back and now I can't dump you know because i don't have no room to dump so we'll figure something out but, all right well i'm going to turn the camera off and start digging down in here a little bit got a horlix malted milk nice one though it's aqua big pint size so keep it rolling a nice good trash layer down in here Dig that stuff up to here because it's going to fall, I'm afraid. I think we'll pull a few of these out of here. It's getting ready to fall. There's an olive bottle. Got some of the label on it. Can't hardly make it out. Yeah, like that one. Here's another one. Another olive bottle. They like their olives. Oh. Oh, looks like an amber medicine yeah, or something. Yeah, wish it would have been a little Warner's or something. Label only. It's hand blown. Another little bottle. Hey, there's a Pisos. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, green Pisos. Shelly found one last time. It looks good. Yeah. There's nice another one. good keeper. Hazel teen. Yeah. All right. What else is up there in that place? What else you got in here? Wind's blowing that dusty stuff around on it. The whiskey is small though. That ought to be embossed. But it ain't. Oh, that's that unusual. It is. A, yeah. This is odd. It's got the little. It's machine diamond. made. It's got I and Diamond, Illinois Glass Company, so I'll probably turn purple. Well, it's coming uh -oh. in whether we want it to or not. So yeah, the side part in the is. Water. <laughs> well, water. Well, that one wasn't too bad. Yeah. Small one. A little Peoria. Yeah. Whittemer. Yep, Aqua Whittemer Boston. Whittemer Boston. Well, yeah, this one quickly gets stuck. Yeah, but it just changes so quick. Was that a salt shaker? I think you're right. Oh, oh all broke. Yeah. I guess you could put a lid on it, but. But, I heard some. Yeah. Keepers going up this way, probably. Oh, let's see. I don't see nothing here. There's something in here. Oh, that one's broke. Oh. Slick druggist. They're slick. <laughs> Plenty of those. Yeah, somehow it drops from right here. It's right even to here. It's already dropping. Oh, hey, 
Hey, one of them gillets. Oh, the owl. Yeah, gillets high grade extracts with the owl. There you go. From Chicago. I haven't dug one of them in a I while. know, it's actually, it's been a while. It has. I doubt the other end of the dump. Yeah, somewhere. we found them more often over there. Oh, the one end of this dump is in. Some stuff. That's a bottle we find Cold universal wells. everywhere. Cold well syrup peps in Could it be? It could be, yep. Oh my goodness gracious. It's another Bromo caffeine. So what, five? Number five. Number five for the day. <laughs> Better than Bravo Seltzer. Yeah. A couple bottles. Here. Yeah, they're getting more consistent yeah. in that they're area. They're thicker, aren't they? Olive bottle. Something right there. What is that? What is that? Bigger there. That pottery? It no, I think it's one in vinyl. It's a number. Oh, it's got something next to it. Yeah, yeah. It's shaped like one of them in vinyl. It's just underneath here. <laughs> it's an interesting angle yeah. though. I mean, not sure. It's like, oh, that looks interesting. Yeah. It's a vinyl. It's a vinyl. God, they were all, boy, them were popular. We haven't jug yet today, have we? We didn't hit most of one. Another slick druggist hand blown. Oh, look out. Uh oh. Oh, it's just a trickle, I think. Just trickling down. Let's come on out here. Another slick. Yeah, that will. Kind of use a shovel to reflect the sun up in there sometimes. I think I the top of it. Hey, there's an ink. Ball Carter's or Sanford's. All right, a little clear. clear Sanford's ink. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we'll go ahead and should we pull that out? Anybody know what that is? Oh, for Pete's sake. For, for pictures' sake. Pictures say. All right. Well, that's it for now. We'll uh, fire the back up, clean it out, and then we'll come back. So we got a bunch of bottles, though. Yep. shut the backhoe off 
for a little bit here and we just got down here and Paul's just digging down there in that very bottom and hit a nice cruet. Yeah, it's one of them swirl pond ones but it's sunk in real deep but I can't believe it's whole. Well I can't either, look it at that. It was right on the bottom in that clay right real there. Real hard stuff, wow. Well that is really nice. Yeah, in an unlikely <laughs> spot but... Yeah. Unless the bottom's gone out of that. No, I think it's just sunken. Yeah, it? it's sunk out. Just it's really sunk sunken. Cool. <laughs> All right, well. Wow, Dad, that's in that clay. That's Man, clay in there. And then there's, there's layers under the clay. That is hard stuff. Yeah, we are gouging into this with a backhoe. Not, doesn't look very good up and through here, but probably before we're done for the day, we'll, we'll gouge into that some more. But you can see that big root in there. Shelly and I cut out about an eight-foot section of it, but today we we got underneath that, and uh, I was hitting into that with the bucket. But we can't really get any more of the root system of this tree. The bucket just wants to slide off of them roots. But we'll just dig what we can here. What else we can hit? Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and do some shoveling here and help Paul. All right, I was working on a jug down in there, down that bottom hard packed stuff. Amazing, cause it all the bottles have been smashed right there. A little white jug. Boy, it's in there. Yeah, sure is. Duck. There it goes. Hey, it's got the handle. Got All the right, top. Paul. <laughs> Boy. All white. Yeah. It's kind of unusual. This little white jug. That might clean up nice. Yeah, I think it will. All right, our first and only jug of the day. Yeah. At least it was whole. Gives you hope that there's other stuff in there, but boy, it's just amazing that was whole honestly we probably never would have dug this no, there's no way. well we couldn't have gotten through them roots to begin with and if we had we would have gotten into this seven or eight feet of just nothing stuff and then you get down there and there's about a foot right on the bottom hard packed broken up stuff mostly Food bottles. <laughs> looks like a lid or something. Yeah, it's got a bottle here that, yeah. from up here, it looks cobalt. It does. I can't see. Yep, it's cobalt. Hey. Oh, oh I no. thought it was a Bromel cell. There's nothing, nothing on it, but it's a big one. Hand Boy, long. it is. Look at how big that thing is. That's still pretty cool. Yeah, it's about nine inches tall, hand blown. All right, Yay. well. <laughs> well, that revives me a little bit. There's a oh, something. Slick. We'll keep digging away. Nope. No? That's got something on it. Probably two ounce full measure. No, oh, Grand Union tea. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing purple. Yeah. All right, we're gonna keep digging keep along here. Going. All right, Paul just pulled out a goodie. Yeah, nice little glass cert pitcher, I guess. Hey, looks like diamond it quilted been a pitcher with a yeah, it was whatever. kind of belled out base and yeah, that's pretty nice. Still got the collar on. Look at that! Yay, Paul! That's a nice piece. Looks perfect too. Yeah, diamond quilted. He's working up there in an upper layer. A lot of broken stuff. Oh, the bottle sticking out. Hey. Oh, it's oh. probably yeah. Clinton. Yeah, he had a whiskey. And we've been hitting some other stuff here. Paul found this one too. It's a little. Amber hand blown hypodermic bottle. Look how thin the neck on that is. I could insert a hypodermic needle in it. <coughs> Probably like morphine or heroin. There's a little 
ironstone butter pat. He had a broken uh, straight side coat from Decatur, but it's a good candidate for a drinking glass. And then we hit a Larkin Company panel one, Bromo Seltzer, Lacto Sal, Genote Milk and Company, St. Louis, Medicine there. I've seen that cobalt one. A melon's food. It's hand blown. Large size. Melon's food. Heinz uh, mustard jar there. And some other little bottles. There's a Horlix malted milk. Hit a couple bitters. There was a, another broken lashes. And this was a Harder's. Harder's wild cherry bitter. So, anyway, we're not done yet. Just kind of milking that top layer, and then we're going to take the backhoe and dig into this bank here before we go. Probably knock a lot of it in. So. All right, all right, we're just finishing up at least this phase here. We just pulled out a blob beer. It's uh, Jung Brewing. This is Cincinnati, Ohio. The Jung Brewing Company near the base. It's going to be nice ear iridescent. I got heartburn. Paul's working on a blob beer over there. Medicine. Pulled out some more slit. Oh, nice. Lee and Perrins with the stopper. Kind of cool. Lee and Perrins with Cestershire sauce. Whitmer, small size Whitmer, Boston. Food bottle. A lot of them today. Oops, slick. Another one. It's kind of peeling off a little bit over there. Not too, too bad. No. Oh, it's a one of them. <laughs> oh. Bottom McCoy's. McAvoy. Malt Merrill. You know, I haven't seen one of them for quite a while. We were finding them, but I haven't seen one for several trips. Cowboy Malt Merrill, Chicago. Isn't that something down that other end of the dump? I don't know what that means, but... And Paul says he's working on a jug. Let's go see. Oh, yeah, I see it under there. Lines there. Got the handle on it. Yay! That's the part that's usually broke. I think it might come out if I'm careful. Yeah. There she comes. All right. Hey, hey it's a Western all right. somewhere. Yeah, nice gallon nice one. Bold label, or uh, you know, it is stencil on maple it. leaf. That's a nice one, Paul. Yeah, yeah, it actually is. Gallon size. Yeah. All right. Well, we're still pecking away here. I'm good. Yay. Nothing fabulous, but we just keep chopping in. Gives me a little hope to dig a little more. Yeah. <laughs> Make a little more energy. <laughs> All right. All right. We're back in the hole, digging away. We dug. A little bit of this section, it don't look very good in here. But Paul's working on something stoneware up there. We're just throwing our dirt down in here. We're probably gonna backfill this hole. He's working on something stoneware. He found a little Walker's grape juice, a little small size. Oh yeah, that's one of them big. It's a big size jar. It is. Yeah, that's one of them Macomb jars, isn't it? Yeah, see if you can just pull it out by hand. Look at that. That was only like two feet under the ground. Wow, cool. Wow, it's a big... That's a gallon one, isn't it? Stone mason. It looks like a gallon size to me. Man, at least half gallon. Oh, yeah, the bottom's kind of sunk in. Good, that's still... Yeah, I'd probably say Macomb pottery. It huh? does. I wonder if the shoulder's embossed. Yeah, let's check. Oh, 
I don't think it is. Yeah, it is. is. It? Can you see something on there? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, I see it. Patented. Yep. It's got uh, a patent date patent at least. Date. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Patent applied for? Patent applied for, yeah. Oh, but that's still, that's a big stone yeah. mason is what it is, ain't it? Yep. That's right. That's in good condition. Sure is. But that's, right, a ga that's the first gallon one we found here. Yeah, it's, it looks like a gallon. Well, good. That, yeah, that helps. It's been a while since we found something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Man, all right. All right, Paul and I are just getting done here. The jug dump, we've had a good day. It's getting tired, it's about six o'clock. And anyway, there's a couple of our stoneware pieces at Gallon Jar and a Western Stoneware here. <laughs> so, found this at the end too. Yeah, let me put this down. Oh, yeah. Mulebach Brewing Company, Kansas City. Missouri. Yeah, nice beer. Crown top, but it's applied crown. Yeah. Hand blown. All right. We got quite a bit more stuff in there, some cool things. We'll probably try to do some kind of a clean up. There's a little mirror here. It's a celluloid. Looks like it's got some nice design on it. And, uh, we got Dr. Pierce's favorite prescription there. Got another ironstone soap dish here. Lost on the back. There's a box bottles there. We got some in the bucket here. Yeah, this Richard Hudnut came out. Oh yeah. And then this Lubin perfume. Oh, a nice Lubin. Yep. Yeah. This came out of the pile. Ink bottles there. And well, we got quite a bit of stuff. Nice. Nice. Salt that shaker. was a real nice salt shaker. Yeah, you dug one down at the other end of the dump, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, just like that. Wow, Same pattern. Seashell type pattern. And there's a marble. I didn't see that marble. I found that earlier, yeah. Nice uh, one soap marble. dish. Yep. That well, was a good day. We're. We're gonna call it a day. Gonna get home and get something to eat, so. Well, that was about it for the dig. We ended up uh, filling in one big pile with a backhoe, so it was good practice for me <laughs> cleaning up the big pile of dirt there that was off to the right of the backhoe, and we shoved uh, most of that back in the hole and uh, we're gonna probably start in a new hole the next time we dig so anyway we didn't get a chance to divide stuff up this was our keepers we got about 70 uh, keepers we had some more but this is all that I think we brought home here I'm gonna show so we'll look at a few of these and and uh, I don't know if we're gonna have a cleanup or not we got so much going on so we'll probably be digging again Shelly and I are talking about going tomorrow so Paul and I just dug yesterday so we've been busy. <laughs> All right, let's go through a little bit of it. There was a nice little stoneware lid. It's got a chip out of it, but they might have done that on purpose, you know, to put a spoon in there. Uh, a real pretty uh, blue marbled graniteware uh, soap dish with a little marble in there. Paul found one marble. And it's kind of eaten up, but anyway, we thought we'd keep it anyhow. It's kind of pretty. This is quite a bit older. It's actually a ground panel Lubin uh, perfumer Paris probably 1860s or 70s that's kind of nice a little spoon got a soap dish uh, here it's I think it's Greenwood China Trenton New Jersey <clears throat> that's a melted glass stopper they probably heated something up to try to get the stopper out and it, I guess it came out but it's all warped now a nice Mexican Amoli soap company from Peoria uh, Paul found that real nice uh, Syrup pitcher, still got brass collar on it. The flip lid is missing, but diamond quilted little uh, syrup pitcher there. This is really cool. It's a amber <coughs> hypodermic syringe uh, bottle. You see how narrow the neck is? I don't, know, I don't think water would even pour out of that, but they could use a hypodermic needle and uh, put it down inside of there and draw it up. And usually those were for either morphine or heroin back in the late 1890s early 1900 a little ironstone butter pat there um, three little ink bottles 
think they're all embossed on the bottom. Something L.H. Thomas, Sanford's. Uh, there's another little butter pat. There's a little ink, nice iridescence on it. It's a little indelible ink bottle. It's probably from 1880s or so. One little button. <laughs> a Larkin Company. Uh, Dr. Drake's German Krupp Remedy from Ohio. That is one of the older ones. A uh, woman's hair piece there, tortoise shell. Like a celluloid material. Uh, Whitmer Boston, got a Castoria. Grand Union Tea Company, uh, Armour's Top Notch brand. Two little Brommel Seltzers. A little cold cream jar, just the base of it. This would have been cool. It was a little mirror with a celluloid uh, backing there. It's fancy decoration on there. Probably a ring there we could be hung up. Unfortunately the mirror is broken but we kept it anyhow. Another different kind of Larkin, the panel one. We've got five of these Brummel Caffeines. Cobalt or dark cornflower blue. That was real popular stuff. There was a tooth there. Molar from probably a horse. Animal jaw. Little brass top. Three Ingham's Milkweed Creams, embossed around the shoulder. And a Gillette's High Grade Extracts with the Owl on the Moon from, from Chicago. And another Grand Union Tea Company, it's a flavoring extract bottle. And this piece of, looked like, almost like a crown, wasn't it? Kind of cool uh, for an old hanging kerosene lamp. Uh, Richard Hudnut, Caldwell Syrup Pepsin. A pair of Whitmer Boston's, a pair of Lydia Pinkham's vegetable compounds. There's a hand-blown Melons Food Company, large size. Nice hand-blown Lactosal, Geno T. Milliken Company, St. Louis, wide mouth medicine. Real nice uh, little cruet there. Paul found and then cut shut scar on the bottom, sunken. Uh, Doctor Pierce's. Favorite prescription, Pine or yeah, Pine X, Walker's grape juice, bust on the bottom, Eli's cream balm. Look at the iridescence on that. Isn't that pretty? That's a really pretty one. Common bottle, but that that nice coloring there. So it makes them worth a little bit more. And that's an older one, e a Wego, New York from Eli Brothers. That's probably from the 1890s. Horlicks Malted Milk. A nice pair of salt shakers. This was real nice one. Still got the brass cap on it. Like a shell pattern. Paula dug one of them on the other end of that dump. Oh, uh, nice uh, coffin flask. A McAvoy Malt Marrow from Chicago. And a strap side flask. Call them strap sides. Got like little straps. Look like on the sides. Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce with a boss stopper. Uh, broken, but you can make a nice cup or pencil holder out of that. Straight side coke from Decatur. Just some amber slicks we save for people. This is one of the last bottles. Paul pulled that one out of George Muehlbach Brewing Company from Kansas City. It's a crown top, but it is a nice older one. 1890s, early 1900. A blob top Jung. It says the Jung Brewing Company, Cincinnati. It's got some iridescence on it from being in the ground. Saxoner's Bitter Quill, nice big cobalt blue hand blown medicine bottle. Wish that would have said something on it. And a Larkin Horlicks Malted Milk, a Clinton Bottling Works. Got a pair of jugs there and a big gallon size Macomb Pottery Company. You see it's embossed on the bottom there. Paul's Western Stoneware with a maple leaf. So, Alright, that was it. We got a couple boxes of, uh, of other bottles that we, we left there. But anyway, we'll be back to digging. We thank you all for watching and we stand proudly with Israel. We need to be praying for all the people over there and so many of the Palestinians there in the Gaza Strip. Keep them in your prayers because so many of them are innocent and they don't they don't want Hamas there either. So we just pray for, for the peace of Jerusalem, as the Bible says, and pray that God would just 
you know, get this to a conclusion and those hostages could be brought safely home. But anyway, we just keep them in our prayers and old people also over there in Ukraine, the war going on, just all kinds of stuff and we're thankful for the freedom we have. So let's stand together in peace and keep our prayers and keep our families together. We appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.